like you said, I've been hitting the beer a little hard. I need to switch over to coffee. Back home again. Oh, Janet Guthrie's car. The first female driver in the Indy 500. That's crazy. Can imagine going 500 miles in a sidecar. That's insane. Hola, mis amigos. It's travel day. Heading back to the United States, finally. We're in the Seville Airport, waiting to get on our flight to Lisbon. And then we'll have a long layover. I don't know if I'll be filming anything else today, but I'm doing this as a little intro in case I find something to film. We'll piece it all together. But for the most part, like I said, it's just gonna be a long travel day. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna find anything or not. If I do, you'll be the first to know. See you at the next stop. seven-hour layover. I might as well spend it in the Air Portugal lounge. I've been hitting the beer a little hard. Need to slow down and get some coffee. Said I've been hitting the beer a little hard. I need to switch over to coffee. Okay, for the first time ever, we got wedged right in the middle of the plane. Two seats. The seating arrangement is two, four, two. And me and Mara are right in the middle of the four. I don't know how that happened. Okay, after 26 hours of travel, I am now in Indianapolis. I am back home again in Indiana. I am exhausted and I'm going to bed. 26 hours since we left our apartment in Spain and we're finally here. I'm going to bed now. I feel much better now that we've got some sleep. Just a little bit. Only slept about three hours and I woke up and then Slept a couple more, and then we just got up and ate breakfast. Got a busy day with very important stuff to do. Some of which I will show you, some of which I will not. So I'm so glad to be in Indianapolis, home of the Colts. And especially the fact that the... Hello, Mara. Hello. Especially the fact that the uh, room is all decorated in indie car imagery. It's as if they knew I was coming. We just, we're just returning home to Indiana. We've been traveling around for like 15 months. Oh, wow. 
We lived in uh, Vietnam for a year, and we went and saw Australia and Switzerland and wow. <laughs> Spain. Yeah, the uh, hotel room and the lobby and everything. There's just indie car Im indie car imagery everywhere, which makes me so happy. I don't know if the Colts game have the Colts have a home game this Sunday, but. We're driving down to Evansville on Saturday, so I won't be up here anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I am here in Speedway, so I believe later today I may be heading over to the track. If nothing's, nothing's going on today, but the museum's there, so maybe I'll take you inside there. Beautiful. I know it may not be your thing, maybe you're not into auto racing, or even if you are, maybe not IndyCar in particular, but obviously, if you're traveling the world and seeing what is available in lo certain locations, you come to Indianapolis, you probably need to go check out the museum and see the history of the greatest spectacle in racing. Our daughter from uh, Evansville is driving up to get us spend the day with us up here and we'll head back down tomorrow yeah it just looks like america exactly like how i left it this is abnormal to me after the last year not a single pedestrian i see no human beings only cars no bicycles no motorbikes i'm sure a big motorcycle will roll by eventually but still I'm used to seeing a sea of motorbikes. But the traffic is very organized. See, this is what it's like when you drive here and then when you go to Vietnam, you wonder why we feel like in a total panic. Ah, back home again in Indiana. Now I find myself at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Coming to see the museum for the first time. I can't believe I've not been in here before. As, as much as I love IndyCar and as many times as I've been up here to the track, I've never been into the museum. What a beautiful facility. If you've not had any chance to visit here, do yourself a favor and put it on your bucket list. I'm gonna start singing back home again in Indiana. I'm so happy. Back home again. Of course, the souvenir and gift shop here right at the entrance. I'm sure I will hit it on my way out the door. Only 246 days left. If I still owned a house and, you know, could collect things. I love these cars, but since I plan on living nomadically for the rest of my life, I, I can't buy collectibles. I have nowhere to put them. But I definitely want this Graham Rahal car. an indie car you can sit in get your picture taken on the other side there's four interactive games where you can try to qualify four laps for the race and across from where the trophy normally sits there's a room that has the artist renditions of the way the place is going to look when we're done with it come april 2025 2025 we actually moved out of the country uh 15 months ago we just came home to visit the grandbabies oh. and since the two of them live up here i was like i'm going to the museum i haven't i've been to the track many times but i've never come into the museum you know 
I heard that a lot. I talked to a lady, oh, I was born and raised in Speedway, and I've been to the race, but I've never been in the museum. Yeah, a lot of local people are that way. Everywhere I travel in the world, when I tell them why I'm in, in their country or in their city, the stuff I'm going to see, they're always like, I've never done that before. And then they feel guilty that they don't know their own history. I was probably here five times before I went to the, because uh, I'm from New York originally, lived out here about 13 years. And I probably was at the museum five or six times before I went to my first race in 83. Hmm. <laughs> I just yeah. love the vintage stuff. Yeah, I was the opposite now. It's because I've been, I've probably been to races up here five or six times, but I've never been in the museum. But yeah, we were here when Rossi won. Oh, what are you? The that, 100th. That's the newest car we have here right now. Yeah, my, wa my wife and I were both over in turn four. And because I remember that was his first year, and we were like, who the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, wait a minute, we came up here rooting for the, you know, all of our guys, right. and we didn't know who Rossi was. And, uh, and then obviously that's uh, um, uh, Dan Weldon's car that he won with yes. that last time. That uh, was, uh, we had something neat earlier in the year. We had the first winner, Ray Haroon's car, which is in that room. Oh, good. In back of I was there. hoping to see that. And that car, and it showed 100 years of. Uh, you know, yeah. development. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that year, I didn't, I wasn't at the 500. I've only been to the 500 once, and that was when Rossi won on the 100th running. And But that year that Weldon won, we went, I went to Kentucky with a big group of friends, and I got, I got him to sign because he, because I had the ticket, the ticket where they put the former winner on the sure. ticket. So I had the ticket with him on with it. With his face on it when he had won with uh, Andretti. And then I got him to sign it. He got pictures with him and everything. And then the horrible accident happened right, right afterwards. So, so that's why that car stuck out to me as soon as I walked in. Yeah, he was a good one. But then that was also the race where I got those pictures that Carpenter won that f first time. And that was at that Kentucky race with Sarah Fisher and that Dollar General car. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad I got to see Carpenter because we were rooting for him too when we got up there. So he won that race and was his first win. And that was good. Yeah, he's, his team's struggling this year. Yeah, or, yeah. Or did struggle, I should say. Even uh, that young kid he had, uh, Renus VK. Yeah, yeah. Last year he was on fire. Yeah, this year so he good. seems like he's a little bit more careful. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, there's a lot of stuff happened this year. I can't, I can't put my finger on what the issues were, but but yeah, I watched. Uh, I just didn't get to because we were in Vietnam for the whole season, oh, yeah? so I didn't see. I did. I saw. I watched every race, but I didn't get to come to any races. Are you this living year. in Vietnam? Yeah, yeah. We sold everything. We yeah. from Evansville. Best friend that I grew up with went to Vietnam about a year ago. He's over there, but what he's doing, he's going to. Uh, some different countries every couple of how's that work every couple of months or something so he, he must have like a temporary visa or something yeah well my wife even though she's 100 percent hoosier she was raised in evansville but she was adopted as a baby from the war oh. so she's 100 percent american but since she was born there she got relatives i could get no uh, that's that's a hard part that's why she's not 100 percent citizen because there is no relative she was just a war orphan so we can't track down any relatives but she had we had enough proof to get her a, a passport. So she's kind of like half a citizen. And because she has a passport, I could get a visa exemption so we can come and go as we please. Because it's real hard to do that, but in our situation, we can do it. And we just sold everything and just packed up and decided to move yeah. to Southeast Asia. So unfortunately this year I didn't get to go to, I was hoping the season wouldn't be over by the time we came, but we just got here last night. So. Yeah, we didn't get to go to. Around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't get to go to any races this year, but I watched them all, and we and then and she enjoyed the um, the reality show there on the CW too, so she got to see some of the backstories and stuff. So that was good. I'm glad they did that. But yeah, thanks for the uh, information. Oh, my pleasure. And I'm gonna take a look around. You said the wasp is in there. Right okay. around the corner. Okay. Right across from that's Loder Shaw's car, Maury Rose's car, Jimmy Murphy's car. They're all winners. Okay. I will, I will make it in there. Well, enjoy your visit. Thank you.
The fuel injected special, number 14, 1953, 1954. I normally don't like gray cars, but kind of like that livery. And there we go, AJ Foyt, no, number 14, 1967, the year I was born. And it's my favorite color, orange. And this is a Mario Andretti 1969 car, the year Mara was born. I knew Andretti had won. I didn't know Foyt won the year I was born. 1972. Look at the look at the the difference with that front wing. Look how much a difference it is. 70, 71. Almost ident they are identical. 72. That's 71 right there, and then here's 72. Now we're uh, closer to a more modern design. The Ari Lion Dyke. Domino's Pizza Car. What year was this? 93? Let me see. Oh, 90. Right at 90. All time record for 500 mile distance. I remember watching that race on TV. I haven't seen one of Sato's cars yet. I'm gonna keep looking. There's gotta be one in here since he won twice. And yes, he's my favorite IndyCar driver of all time. And if you gotta go under a red flag and a checkered flag at the same time, that's the yeah. way the 500's always been. That's why I was, a, which, you know, I'm not an expert, so I got no, I can't judge anybody for their decision making. I, you know, I'm just a, well, I think they... I'm more than a casual fan, but I don't, I don't know all the rules and everything. I just remember watching that thinking uh, that I'd never seen anything like that before. So it just seemed like, it was like, are they just making it up as they go or, <laughs> or what? Because <laughs> I'd never witnessed that before, but they got it is what it is. Yeah. Reaction from that. Yeah. Yeah I, did, yeah, I wasn't a fan, but it is what it is, and it's over now. And I totally agree with and that. That's right. New Garden's face is on the trophy, so. Yep. So Erickson, Erickson got it the year before, so. Yeah, I did. I did. I, did thought, I thought that he. I assumed that he was going to win, but then, yeah, I just that was just really weird how they did that, but. Yeah, they don't usually do that here. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. Do you know if one of us is one of Sato's cars in the building or? No, where <laughs> they in Japan or where do you think they are resting? They're probably with uh, the team shop. The team, yeah, yeah. Okay. The newest car we've got is Ross up there. They're 2016 car. Yeah, that's why I was telling my wife, reminding her that that's the one that won when we were here. I, I did I did come once before. I said I only came to the 500 once, but that's not true. I remember I came with my my two brothers and my father, and it was I think it was Marco's first year. Oh, when he almost won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a, I remember there was a wreck. Somebody's rear wing, like, went like a boomerang up into the stands. And, and, and uh, security, like, came and took it away. Fans, like, were, like, they if it goes into the crowd, them. it's yours to keep. He was, like, holding it. And then, and then security came and took it away from him. Well, but, uh, 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 yeah, because we were, because right we were on the inside, yeah, behind the pits. And, uh, yeah, I remember, uh, why am I blacking out on the name? Hornish. I passed him up and won there at the very end. But yeah, we were here that we were here that year too. I forgot I forgot about that. But 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 I've been up to the road course maybe four times. Maybe. I just hadn't been to the I've only been to the 500 twice. Where are you going? I like your little pink shoes. Hello everybody. We've been back in America. This is only the second day. We just arrived yesterday from Spain, and it was a great trip. I loved Spain. It was fabulous, all the locations were good, all the people were good, all the food was good, but now I have to start preparing for next year. So where will we go? On these chips, there's 10 chips with 10 different flags on it, 10 different locations. Whichever one I pull out, that will be my destination for next year. We're throwing them in the IMS hat since we're at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, home of the greatest spectacle of racing, and my IMS hat. I'm going to shake them up, lift it up so I don't look in, mix them up some more, randomly grab one, and it is 
<sighs> Next year we will be going to India. Wow. The choice has been made. Mara's holding the camera so you can't see her facial expression, but we'll find something really exciting next year to film in India. Yeah.